first thing we do is we create a project list. So I've input the headings already in there, the project name, this uh, short description, the number of days plan, the number of days done. Uh, to calculate the project completion, we just do the uh, done divided per plant. Here we have one, which is 100%. If the, you have less than nine projects, then you just leave this uh, empty. So to make things easier further down the track, what, um, what I like to do is to name the range. So if you've never done it, it's quite straightforward. You just select the range that you want to name and you input the name in the top left corner here. Let's call this one project list, for instance. Let's call this one description. Let's call this one planned. And it will be called done. Called completion here. Now while I'm at it, there is another validation field that you'll understand later <laughs> that I need to create here. There are three tones, one, two, three, and I will be creating a table here so we can use it later on. Now we need to create our boxes. So we try and bring ourselves closer together so they, they are smaller boxes. And we have 10 wide, so we have one on each side, and then we have another one on the other side, and we have them eight long and seven. So this is uh, this will be our boxes. Uh, we can put grids for the time being, but it's not absolutely mandatory. So the first thing we do is we merge the one at the top. We do a merge and center here. And actually what we added, we can do a data validation on it. Data, uh, we do a data validation and we select from list. And then we go in our previous tab and we want only one of those nine here. So now we should be able to select the project here. We will use this later on. There's something that we need for this box, and I will use that. We will use that for conditional formatting. Is to have a field that we will use to decide on the tone that we want to use. Uh, I'm just going to put it a different color, and there will be another field that we, that we will use to retrieve. And I'm actually going to merge a couple of cells for this. We will retrieve uh, the project completion. So, for instance, here, if I bring back project one, we want to bring back the project completion in this field here. So here, that will be actually, if we start with the the tone, it will be data validation as well. So we do data data validation from a list. And as far as list is concerned, we will go and retrieve this one. So here we, we have the three tones. If we want to be a little bit more explicit, we go to the data validation. And here and here in the input message, we put, we remind the color. So let's say we will have one red, two type of violet, and three we will have blue. So this way, when we are here and we want to select one, that will be a reminder. Okay, I want to put this one in violet, for instance. So here we will be starting the retrieval of uh, the project completion here. So we use XLOOKUP if we have a recent version of uh, Microsoft Excel. Otherwise, we can use the, the HLOOKUP. So first, we retrieve the description. So we just first check that uh, the field here is not blank. If it's blank, we don't want to retrieve anything. We want to leave all blank. Then we do an XLOOKUP. Uh, we check in the project list range. Uh, we check for that uh, project here. and. If we find it, we uh, retrieve the description. The second field that we want to retrieve is a percentage completed. So we use this formula here. So once again, we check if the project is not blank. And then we input the words completed. And then we retrieve 
the percentage completion. So we use the text to format uh, the percentage because otherwise it's just going to give us a number with all these commas and we don't want that. So that would retrieve the completed and put it under shape. So let's see if it works. So we have project one here. If I put project three, it retrieves a different uh, completion. So it's good. Now we just need to do the same for plan and done. Same principle for plan. We check if the field is not blank, the project is not blank. And then we write the words planned and then we do an next lookup, but this time we retrieve the planned range. And then we just put the number of days at towards the end. So that gives us something like this. And then we do the same for done. Done here. So that should still be G5, G5. Down. We remove down here. And then we do the down here. Now, very good. So I'm just going to remove those grids uh, because they are a bit in a way. Here, remove those grids. Uh, instead, I will put everything blank. So, what I've done is I've put the background. Uh, the normal, if you click right click here, you put modify and you just take something gray to fill for the default. So I've taken the one at the outmost left, the, the lightest of gray. So this way every cell is gray and then I can have this as a different color as a white stand out. So that's it. So I retrieved everything. I can uh, remove those X's now. I know that I have the shape, I have the, the data. I just need to do the formatting. And once it's done for one box, I will need to duplicate it uh, nine times and just do some minor changes on each box. So the first thing I would like to do is I need to put uh, a name for those two fields at the top. That will make it much easier when we apply the conditional formatting to the other boxes. Tone box one and here comp box one. So that's it. So I've named those fields. So that's it. So now we need to format, uh, do all formatting. Now we've done all the, we have our project list. Uh, we have our first box. Uh, we just need to show the percentage completion with a different color. And then we just need to apply a different color based on the tone. Okay, now if we do some formatting, first we format the header, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula. And then we need to make sure that Excel uses the actually the named box. So tone box one is equal, whoops, is equal to one. And if this is the case, so we go with the red tone. So I'm just using the standard here, the standard uh, Microsoft tones one, and I will just put a font of bold color of white. So we need to do a bit of work to make sure that Microsoft understands it. So there's no more quota, so now it should work. So we just need to duplicate that three times. I mean, once, uh, so I'm using three tones here, but you know, if you use only one tone, that would be much easier. So for two, I'm just gonna take the, the violet. Okay, and for the third, I'll be using the blue, this blue here. So this is done for the top. Let's just check this and this. Now to format the body of the box itself, we need to two conditions. We need just to check the, the tone. And second, we need to check what is the percentage of the completion that's been done. So this is why I have to put uh, that percentage completion here so we can use it. And what I do is I compare with uh, this this column here, I will turn it uh, up with a with a color if the percentage completion is uh, greater than ten percent, 
If it's greater than 20, I will turn that one up as well, etc. So I have created 10 fields here between 0 0.1 to 1. And we will be using this. So I select the whole load here. Conditional formatting, new rule. So the first rule is, as we've seen, I'm just going to put and turn box one is equal to one. So that will be for the red. And then I've checked that this field here, which is completion box one, is greater or equal to that field here but I need to unlock the F so it just it will just follow it up as we progress and then I close the loop here and the format for the red was this one but I will do more colors and I will take a much lighter one here so that can be fine-tuned Bef but, that, but that needs to be fine-tuned before we start copying and pasting all the boxes. So that's for one. So if I put one here, better work. So we have 33%, so that's work. So if I put project one, it should cover everything perfect. And project four, that's it. So I still... So this is where I think that we need to play with the... And if you think this is too dark, you come back here, you do a format here, more colors, and you put an even lighter color here. So you play with this slider here. Uh, and this is it. So now I duplicate that three times. It's the same for this with a different color. So two. So this will be the valid this time that I will put a very light color off. Who wants the the too too light? That seems better. And then for this one it will be the blue. Three. Oops, three. I'll put the blue. Much lighter one. Okay. I check two, three. Okay, so I just want to put this a bit light. Uh, we'll just do some formatting now. Okay, so we'll put the round boxes around that later on, but we can, what we can do as mentioned is we can hide all this stuff here. So I can hide all this data group and then I'm hiding it. And then we know that we have those fields here. It's just a matter of when we create the other box to name the boxes with, um, with the, the box two as we see. So we just copy this copy and then we insert copy cells and then we call this so that was tone box one so we call this tone box two make sure we press enter and here we call it comp box two and that's it so this should still work because it's just uh, use the same reference so that has followed so that's good so here we, if we have a different project it follows if you change this that changed the two that's because we have haven't put the reference yet so i'm just going to try and put them all at once here manage the rules so we go start with the headers first and we need to put just two here so it's much easier because we don't have to th to to think about where where it is. We just use the numbering of the box, and that's much easier. And now let's check. 
two, one, and three. Let's change the project. Put the 100% one. So I think, okay, so it works. Just need to put back the tick here and we'll be good to go. So as Microsoft Excel only works with cells uh, and they are all very square, in order to round things up, we need to create a box. We insert a box uh, which has no fill. And then we play around with the thickness of the box and the shade of the box until we find something that fits in perfectly on top of our squares. So by playing with the thickness, that allows us to remove uh, the very square corners that uh, those boxes have. Now, if we want to put a tick when the project is completed on the on the top right here, uh, it's just a matter of writing this formula that we can move across because there is a reference cell; it will be always at the same spot. So we have. If uh, this completion is equal to 1, which is 100%, then I put the letter A, and if not, I put blank. So the letter A, when applied to the WebDings font, gives you a tick. So this is how it would work. This is how we would do it.